Hi, this young boy uh, has now come to us because we're planning an anterior maxillary distraction for him. Uh, on the side down, Manda, turn a little bit to the left. Uh, he doesn't have a severe maxillary apoplasia, just a marginal one. EJ, if you have a look, closer look at him, I can see this end on occlusion. That means the upper jaw is not forward. It's in line with the lower jaw. So we're looking at a few millimeters of growth shortage there. I show you what we've done for him now. Why, Tarun? So that is the distractor that we've placed for him. This is a custom made distractor that's tooth bone. Once this is attached, we would take the patient for the surgery and split the maxilla and advance the anterior part of the face forward, giving space, you know, inside you can see this crowding on the teeth. So once that space is formed, the orthodontist can align these teeth and we can give him a nice occlusion. Karita? Yeah, and this guy has been following up with me for many years. I've done his lip and palate, his speech as well. We've also done a bone grafting for him. And this would be a procedure wherein we would need 10 to 11 days. But this is far superior than orthognathics because we can do this when he's younger. When the teeth, the premolars are erupted, we can do this. And at the same time, we are expecting the speech to improve. Studies are saying that the speech improves with this kind of procedure. Hence, much better than conventional orthognathic surgery. Thank you.